Network 1 has the countdown counter C102. Network 2 has the set counter coil, which is how you add a preset value to Network 3's countdown counter coil C103. Network 4 has a reset for the counter coil C103. The counter's name, for example C102, can be evaluated as a contact, but this only tells whether the counter is in use or not. The counter must be supplied with the start or preset value. This is done by entering a value between C pound 1 and C pound 999 at the preset value input. When the S input, in this example I1.1, transitions from 0 to 1, the preset value is placed at the output. Each time the CD input transitions from 0 to 1, the counter counts down by 1. The counter coil is true while the counter is counting and false when the count is 0. The max countdown from value is 999. A reset can be assigned to reset the counter to 0 if needed. The CV output outputs a decimal count value, and the CV underscore BCD output outputs a BCD value. This counter does not output a signal at a certain count value. Use a comparator such as the less than or equal to comparator in Network 5 for this purpose. Let's monitor the block. Make sure Network 1 is highlighted. When the S input, I1.1, goes true, the preset value 5 is transferred to the output and the counter goes true. Each time the input I1.0 transitions from 0 to 1, the counter counts down by 1 until it reaches a count of 0. If the reset input I1.2 goes true, the counter is reset to zero and the C102 bit goes false. In network two, when input 1.3 goes true, the set counter value coil transfers the value six to counter 103. In network three, each time input 1.4 transitions from zero to one, Counter 103 will count down by 1 until it reaches 0. In network 4, counter 103 will be reset if input 1.5 goes true. In network 5, the output coil M806.2 is true when the count value is 3 or less and is only shown for demonstration purposes. And that concludes this video.